ready for today? I'm ready for today. Good. I'm excited. Me too. It's slightly overcast, but I think it'll, the weather will hold. What up, buddy? Oh, look What's who up? it is. <laughs> Ready for a ride? Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. So I think we're going to do this. This is Onyx, by the way. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go up to this haunted bathroom up here. Haunted bathroom or creepy bathroom? <laughs> I think it's a creepy bathroom. Spooky. Haunted bathroom. Spooky, Spooky bathroom. Spooky bathroom. All right. Well, anyway, there's a bathroom up there that is has multiple adjectives. We're going to start from there. We'll do a little brief real quick, and then we're gonna head across and go from there all the way to Pioneer Saloon. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of our day. Sweet. Sounds good. Cool. All right, let's do it. Not so creepy. I heard this thing has great reviews on Google. Check them out. <laughs> this is the landmark. You know, once you get to the creepy bathroom, this is your last pit stop before we head out to Pioneer Saloon, so. See that gas station we stopped at? Is the last gas station that we're gonna see probably for the rest of the day. Yep. 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 So if you are going to do this trail, I highly recommend that you stop at that gas station, top off, get snacks, get water and then head out. This is actually a pretty short trail, but it's a little bit torn up and will take us some time to get It's populated through. as well. All right, are you guys ready? You need to hit the creepy bathroom or let's head out. All right, dude, so you were out mountain biking a year ago in January. What'd you see? So I was out mountain biking and I could hear some sort of motorcycle or side-by-side -side coming and I recognized it was the Pan Am. And so I got my phone out as quick as I could and recorded video of this dude on a Pan Am riding by and I thought it was the coolest shit ever. And uh, a year later, me and Justin meet up in a coffee shop and I tell him this story about this guy on a Pan Am. Pull out my video, show him and he goes, hey, that's me. So I was like, wait a second. That's me, dude. I'm like, was this at the beginning of the year? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, that's so funny. This is my New Year's ride. And he saw me out here. Yeah, small right world. Right on this track right here. So that's why we kind of picked to do this track, yeah. Cottonwood Canyon. Right, Cottonwood Canyon or Cottonwood? Cottonwood Pass. Cottonwood Pass. How do you know us? Yeah, so outside of the racing I do with Harley Davidson, I do a lot of work with them um, behind the scenes and a lot of their press events launching new products. And um, we did this kind of appreciation ride where we got to ride with the CEO, Yokin and a few of the higher ups in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. And you guys were invited and yeah, the relationship started from there. And then we were like, hey, you're our neighbor, dude. <laughs> We've got a pretty sweet backyard. You want to go ride dirt bikes? <laughs> well, I feel like you were like, I might be getting a Pan American. I was like, oh, so we might be Pan America friends in Las Vegas? Yep, here we are. What kind of riding do you do in general? So I grew up riding and racing dirt bikes, raced flat track for a long time, and then got involved in road racing in 2008, and that kind of took off. And then now, that's, now that Harley's back involved, now I'm going to be racing the Bagger, the Road Glide, and the, the Pan America in the Hooligans class. So my working background is I work in four wheels, so I do a lot of off-road work out here in Vegas. So to be able to kind of tie my racing to my work, to my passion all together is pretty neat. With a background like that, you know, this is the first adventure bike that you've been on. How do all of those things play into like coming and doing this? So honestly, this is kind of like a really good middle ground for me because I grew up on lightweight dirt bikes and now I rode, uh, race road glides, which are super heavy. So now I've got 
the Pan Am, which is somewhere in the middle there, but it gets to share a lot of the on-road and off-road characteristics, and it's sporty and it's fun, and yeah, I really enjoy it. How do all these skills combined kind of like affect each different type of riding? So you do mountain biking, how does that kind of transcend into adventure riding? Yeah, so, I mean, we're riding on a lot of the same trails that I mountain bike on, so you're obviously looking for obstacles in the trail, rocks, you're trying to place your tires on the smooth parts, and you're also managing traction, too, because we've got a little more power than a bicycle, but um, it all just kind of morphs into one, you know? You've got the skills of riding a motorcycle with the clutch and brakes and shifting, but also uh, the advanced off-road techniques that I've learned mountain biking, so it's really cool. Um, all right, if somebody gets into adventure riding, do you feel like it would benefit them to do mountain biking and dirt biking? Absolutely, yeah, 100%. I think it's just going to help enhance your skills because um, you're working with different size contact patches and uh, different handling characteristics, but it's all going to translate the same. Cool. What about track training? Does that play into any of this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're managing throttle and brakes and speed and adapting to what's in front of you. Obviously, on the dirt, you have less traction than asphalt, but um, you're still managing all of those things, and that's what I love so much about riding motorcycles. I think I'm super stoked to see how you get to use this Pan America because you are going to hit the whole range of what this bike can do and really show what this Harley-Davidson Pan America can do this season. So... Super stoked to watch that with you, dude. <laughs> and what do you think as a whole about adventure riding? What's your perspective on it? Like, what is what is the world of adventure riding to you? I mean, to me, this is such a new realm that I'm breaking into. Like, this is only my a handful of times I've ridden the Pan America. So, um, for me, like, I'm always just looking for that next big adventure. So, I'm taking it as a newbie and hopefully trying to, you know, find my place in it. But I think it's great, and I think... Being able to go on-road and off-road gives you the best of both worlds. Have you done any moto camping or any like really long distance type of trips? Not yet. No, not since I was a kid when my parents took us on a cross-country Harley trip, but I uh, plan to with you guys soon. Yeah. Do you know what the backcountry discovery route is? Yeah, you gave me a little insight yesterday. It sounds interesting. I'd like to try it one of these days if I get some time, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's basically the holy grail, I feel like, for adventure riders. Like, everything that you work towards, if you're really into the, like, off-road, adventuring, camping, and all that stuff, doing a backcountry discovery route is essentially, like, everything culminates to that. You know, and they're designed to be able to do on a big bike like this, and either camp or if you want to hotel it, you can. You know, so it is a, it's a great thing to sort of aspire to and I think work up towards with your skills. Should we hit the road again? Yeah, let's do it. Or I think the, we should. The dirt? The dirt. Let's we are the... sitting, just for reference, we are sitting just in the little valley from where that viewpoint was. And what I think is cool is you do all this mountain biking out here, but there's a trail right here that has, what, hiking, mountain biking, just no off-road vehicles yeah. on this trail. But it is a cool place to come out to, ride out to. Maybe swap your boots out, go take a little hike down. It's beautiful out here. We've got snow in the background. We've got desert green everywhere. And then we got up to that viewpoint and got to see all of Las Vegas. So cool little pocket to find on your way out to Pioneer Town. And I think Maggie brings up a really good point. A lot of times we're on these motorcycles and we're going 50, 60 miles an hour past all this beautiful stuff. And while it's fun, also, you're going fast and your adrenaline's through the roof. And so it's nice to stop sometimes where you are and switch out for, to a different pair of shoes or boots and like just go for a walk and enjoy the views and the scenery and, you know, kind of chill for a change. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a good chill spot. All right, let's go get some adrenaline going. So right now we're at the top of this really gnarly hill climb that I attempted a couple years ago. And truthfully, I did not have the skills at all to do this. 
I don't even know if I have the skills to do this hill climb now. But the scary part was that on that same trip, that's when my buddy broke his leg. And you can see this hill climb, it's a really cool road that comes all the way down here. And then goes, look at him go. It's just gonna bust through my shot. <laughs> Dude, he's my hero. Like, this is awesome, look at him right now. He's going up this hill climb that I'm like, I can't do it. So here I am trying to give a little spiel about how difficult this hill climb is. And now here comes, He's just jumping Pan Ams. So how was that, dude? It was pretty gnarly, but I forgot to put it in Off-Road Plus like halfway up, so I had to stop and then restart and almost lost it, but it was pretty cool. I like how I was sitting there being like, this is a really hard hill climb, and you were just like, <laughs> right through my shot. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's all good. It's all good. See, this is skills that pay the bills. I think we're all hungry. We're all hungry. We need Sorry. to get in here and eat, but <laughs> Pioneer Saloon is a really great stop. We do a lot of road rides out here. We've done a few dirt rides out here, but it's like a big side-by-side off-road stop. It's the best rural bar in Las Vegas. Best of Las Vegas. Yeah, it's just outside Prim. So actually, if you go to Gene Dry Lake Bed or pass by it, you make a right and you come out this way and this is where the Pioneer Saloon is. Have you been here before? I've driven by it a thousand times. I've never actually set foot inside, so I'm pretty excited to get some food. He's just hungry. Just we need <laughs> to just go eat. They do have a lot of live concerts and stuff like that out here and events. Hotspot. It's a weekend hotspot. So if you are ever interested in doing events, this is a good spot. <laughs> Guys, what are our options? You know this area way better than we do. We have a few options. We can go back the same way we went back, a different way that'll take us back towards Cottonwood, or we can go an entirely different way, up and over Kingston, and then back around the other side of Mount Potosi. So, how long is that going to take us? An hour and a half, without photo and video stops. Okay. So it'll be dark. We yeah. should take a vote. I know where I want to go, but I don't know. I know where you want to go too, and I don't want to not go where you want to go right now. So I mean, I'm down. We I mean, just listen. Hot we just hot do you guys know what? Do you know what ADV stands for? Adventure. We're about to go on an adventure. <laughs> <Is that what? laughs> we got a few raindrops on the way here, and it's looking kind of dark, but. We'll see. There are some pretty angry looking clouds. Yeah, we've been avoiding weather this whole time, but we're gonna be fueled up. We're gonna have. We've worked out the kinks in our process, and we're. We should be fine. And there's we'll snow. Everything's gonna be fine. We don't go there's outside. Uh, it's it's worth it. All right, we're going. It. It we're gonna do it. this. We're doing it. The reason we're riding with you is because you know this area. Yeah. Yeah. So we trust you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't we know. We wanna go. If it's Take a us bunch on a of, wild adventure. A bunch I'm, of my I'm hill climbs. You know Justin's down. <laughs> Let's just say you add it 30 to 40 minutes going the way I want to go. Okay. okay. Cool. We still have to get back anyways. Either yeah. way. So it's an hour the way we just came of straight riding or an hour and a half of much cooler riding and different scenery. I'm Fun down, stuff. I'm down for the adventure. I'm down for the adventure. We are going to go over the hills of Gondor. Which I don't know if that's the right terminology. I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan like this weirdo over here. But anyway, we're gonna go over some crazy mountains. It's gonna be gnarly as fuck. I'm pretty sure that Travis is gonna be like, oh, this is easy, and then he's just gonna fly away, and I'm gonna be at the bottom of some crazy climb and stuck in the snow. Maggie's gonna be complaining the whole time because it's fing cold. True. Heated grips. But we have heated They're grips. On. That's Pan America. They're on. Are they already on? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna try to make it home a different way, and hopefully you guys don't get stuck. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we made it. That was awesome. That was, I love that. Dude, good nice. call on yeah. going that way. We didn't get too wet. No. no. We got wet right at the end here. Just mixes up the terrain so much. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, changes the elevation. It's not so flat. So. Thanks for showing us that too. It seemed a lot less busy, which was nice. And then, yeah, the terrain changed a bunch. So that was super cool. And we popped out at a road that Justin's always looked at. I've been like, I want to ride that. And then once we get out onto the road, we're only which what? Which is Blue Diamond. Which is Blue Diamond. We're only two hours back to, two miles back to the, the creepy, creepy bathroom, bathroom which now looks creepy we've come full circle and now it looks really creepy the door's open and nobody's Are you gonna in go there? in there nope, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that was a quick response <laughs> yeah and actually for real we were talking about it on the way back but this road that we popped out on i've gone over mountain springs multiple times and been like man i really want to go up that road it looks like a pan am road and cool. that was the adventure that travis decided to take <laughs> us on today yeah, it's cool. Like, we've only lived here a few years compared to what Travis has done out here. So it was really cool. Thanks for sharing that with us. That was awesome. This is The Way We Roll.